welcome back to my channel we're doing a get ready with me if you can tell by the title which i'm super excited about because i love filming these and i never do anymore and yeah we're getting ready to go on a date to spice up my look for date night i'm going to be wearing some colored contacts from moody moody is the top selling contact lens brand that specializes in everyday wear to elevate your eyes they're fda and ce approved and you can even add your prescription to them as a fun alternative to glasses they come with this mini kit that includes an applicator and a tweezer which is super helpful if you have long nails or you don't know how to put your contacts in my natural eye color is dark brown, so I love the Espresso Martini because they're the most naturally looking brown lenses that make my eyes look soft and dewy. They're great for an everyday wear. They also have this amber green color that I really love. It blends seamlessly with my brown eyes, giving them a natural hazel look. I love the greenish brown shade and the hint of yellow in my eyes. And the last color that I've been loving is the Golden Memory. They give my darker brown eyes like this natural, light, bright, hazel glow. I would highly recommend checking out Moody's website to see all of the fun and creative styles they have to offer. And you can use my code McKenna20 for 20% off all colored contact lenses at MoodyLenses.com. And I'll also leave the link in my description box below. We're going to this place called Coco and Shea. It's a fragrance making class. And I'm excited. So anyways, yeah, a little bit about the date. If you want to see the date, go watch the vlog because I'm going to vlog the date. I'm going to vlog the date, but it's going to be in the vlog if you don't watch my vlogs. So what are you doing? So anyways... First things first, we're about to take a shower really quickly because we have like an hour and a half to get ready. I think I already know what I'm going to wear. So the only obstacles that I think we'll face is if I don't like what I want to wear when I put it on. I don't know. Everything else I feel like I can do. I mean, my hair, I'm probably going to do like either ponytail or half a pack down. I'm trying to think what else. I have my fragrances picked out, so I'm about to show you guys what I'm getting out of the shower. But I wanted to laminate my brows and pluck them. I should probably do that now so they're not red when I'm about to walk out the door. Like I can laminate my brows when I get out the shower, but maybe I should pluck them right now. I don't even know where my tweezers are. This, like my eyebrows are just real. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like you can make a ma mix and match this routine a couple of different ways, depending on which notes you like the most. But I'm going in with just the Method Body Wash. This is in the scent Berry Balance. It smells so good. Like, it's probably the best smelling one by Method. I love Method. I just haven't used it in a while. And then for my scrub, I'm going to use the Moonlight Glow. It's also got, like, a sweet, fruity, florally smell. So those pair well together. And then I... Do I need to shave? I mean, nobody's going to see my arm. If I do shave, we'll decide when I get in the shower. I'm going to use this EOS Shave Better Shave Balm. This is in the scent Pomegranate and Raspberry. So again, we're staying in like the fruity realm. Okay, sweet, 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 sweet. And then for my, well, first my body lotion, I'm going to be using this, which is the Pomegranate and Raspberry EOS. This is very fragrant. It smells really good, real delicious, real sweet. And then I'm going to pair it with this uh, perfume from Clean Reserve and it's sparkling sugar. It's just a very, very sweet, feminine, florally smell. Once it dries down, when you first spray, it's kind of like alcoholy. It smells like how it's named like sugar, sugary and like sparkling. I feel like it also pairs well, something spilled in this, I had all my stuff in a bucket, but with this Melrose Place perfume, if you wanna, like tone it down and make it a little bit more I wouldn't even seem say masculine but just like a little bit more soft not as like fruity 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 so that's pretty much all of the hygiene products that I'm going to be using outside of just like deodorant and like witch hazel and those little tips and tricks that we're going to do when we get out of the shower but in the shower products that's what we're about to use I need to clean my shower out a little bit but don't touch me the feminine wash that I'm going to be using is the same one that I've been using for a while. It's called the Cuckoo Wash. I literally have like a corner of it left from Truly. And then I have like my little foot scrubber in there. And then my base body wash that I'm going to use is the Bioderm um, Oil Cleanser. So I'm taking it on the shower with me so I can see all the products that I'm using, how I use them. Um, I'm also going to detox my armpits with some pan oxal, but I'm just afraid I'm not going to have enough time to get ready. So I'm trying to like rush if you can't tell. Okay. Because you know, your girl is a makeup girly now, so I need it. I have to have time. Okay. 
skincare. Top top. This is the oil cleanser I was telling you about. On your exfoliating washcloth, regular washcloth, whatever. It doesn't suds up so much, but it's like this. and bubbly and luscious. Ah, oh, Method is a really good body wash. I won't tap. Like the way it sets up, it's just so, the lather is just so good. Armpit detox. You gotta remember to do this regularly. It will really help with like body odor and then just even like when I notice like if I skip a week of doing this, so usually do like once, twice a week, I'll notice that like it just don't be right. Just clean them out. I'm gonna let it sit underneath my armpits for the rest of the shower and try not to rinse it off until the very end so it can like be like a little mat. Y'all can't see this part though. I'm gonna have to open it up. I just noticed I was running out this morning. It smells like tea tree and lavender. Just in case that you were curious. It lathers up really well, but it's super gentle. I have a very sensitive, you know, and she does not disapprove. And TMI, but down there, I just use my hands. I know some people use claws. I use my exfoliating washcloth on the outside, like on the top part, to like help with like just removing the layers of dead skin so I don't get ingrowns and stuff in between my waxes. Um, but then I'm also going to go in with this Dr. Ronner's bar soap on the back side because I feel like this is just the best thing for back there. It really cleanses the area and leaves it like really, really fresh. I use this and the exfoliating rag to really get in my butt area. I feel like you need more than your hands back there if that's just crazy. So that's what I'm about for me. A little back and I'm going to go ahead and cleanse my feet using this, the foot shampoo. I'm almost out of it because Erin uses it too. And then I have my little foot brush just scrubbing between the toes. I'm not posting my feet on here for free no more though. Y'all know what it looks like to wash your toes, okay? I'm also going to use this on my feet as well because I'm a hard on a pedicure by like a couple days. But I just want to buff around the edges a little bit. Okay, the last step is the scrub. I'm going to turn the water off so that way I'm getting the most out of the exfoliation and it's not being like diluted or rinsed down. Rinsed down, is that a word? I don't know. Ooh, I love tree hut scrubs because they just stay together so well. It's like oddly satisfying. It's like dough. Can y'all see? I don't know. Is it giving, is it giving um, ASMR or oddly satisfying? <laughs> Okay, scrub down every part. If you have more sensitive skin, then I would say leave the water on and kind of like let it dilute itself. But if you really want like a deep scrub and you only exfoliate like a couple times a week, then I would turn the shower off. This is like my first time exfoliating. No, nah, not this week. I, I, exfoli I usually exfoliate like twice a week. I'm still in the shower. <laughs> we have 40 minutes until it's time to leave. So just how about the shower? Do I need to give you guys the rundown of everything we need to do or do the girls have it down by now? So we have it down by now. It's really simple. It's really nothing that special anymore. The little witch hazel, put it on a cotton pad. In my case, I'm gonna use these. This is what I got. 
and we're just gonna do a little swipe on the butt. You can also use this to go like behind your ears, clean your piercings, your belly button on a Q-tip, which is really just good for anything. It's astringent, so it causes odor back, odor causing bacteria. Yeah, bacteria causing odor, I don't know, anyways. Swipe this. For deodorant, I'm going in with this crystal deodorant and the vanilla coconut smell. And then if you wanna be a little extra, why does it look like somebody bit my deodorant? <laughs> Booty deodorant. I get this one from the Sweet Cheeks brand. It's in the scent Watermelon. Swipe, swipe. You can also put it just like in your groin areas. Anywhere you like normally would sweat. You could use it, I think, as regular deodorant too. Now that we're juicy fruity tootie on our... Anyways, let me stop. I'm going to go ahead and do my body lotion. And then I'm going to put some clothes on. So I'm not going to just... Stand here in my bra, oh. I really didn't want to wear anything because, like, when I'm picking my fragrances, I don't want to like be smelling myself. Like, I just I want to be smelling nothing. Let me do my legs really fast. While I don't have my clothes on and my lotion is still like drying down, I'm gonna go ahead and spray myself with one round of fragrance, and then I'll also put a fragrance layer on once we get dressed. All right, outfit. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do this little two-piece set from J Lux label because I feel like it's casual, cute, like it's not super dressy, but it's not dressed down. So let me throw this on really fast. I like to put my clothes on before I do, now I usually do my hair, but I'm not gonna do too much to my hair with like products wise to get my clothes dirty, but I like having my clothes on before I put on like my little makeup and stuff like that. So I'm trying to back up as much as I can so y'all can see the whole outfit. I have on some little close toed, neutral colored, kitten heels and then this is the purse i think i'm gonna carry maybe i don't know should we do bottega do or this prada shoulder bag i gotta look at the mirror i feel like this is more casual i think i'm gonna go out of my comfort zone and i'm gonna do miss bottega do only thing i don't like about this set is it's so long i need to get it hemmed but I don't want to change my clothes unless I put this on. But I don't have nipple pasties, so I don't think I can wear this because it's see-through. And the back is out, so I can't wear a bro. This is why you got to pre-plan your shit, man. One thing about me, I do not pre-plan. Should I just put on jeans? Okay, I had to take them shoes off because I can't be staying in my shoes. But I just want to see what the vibe was. I begin so hot when I begin ready. Let's do something with our face. I'm gonna do my hair last. I'm really just gonna put some serum in my hair and call it a day. I wonder, no, I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna just put my rings on. Hopefully I don't forget. I need like a little gold watch. I know y'all saw in the beginning of the video. I'm actually gonna change out the color. So I'm about to take these contacts out until I finish getting ready and I'm put the ones I wanna wear. Back in. Let's do a little skin prep. I just want to make sure my face is nice and hydrated. That way my makeup doesn't look cakey. My little bit of hyaluronic acid. I'm trying to use the rest of this because I have some more from the new skincare brand that I've been using. But I'm like, let me just finish this out. Look at this fan. Dirty. That's soda. This is probably gonna make my lips really red, but I want my lips to be really, really plump tonight. Because, you yeah, know, like, let's give, is it filler or is it lip plump? And this right here will do it. But it does, ooh, don't get it around the edges, baby. I just don't like that it changes the color of my lips. Like, I like my natural lip color. But I do want a little plump, a little plumpness. It's already burning, okay. Should we do a primer tonight? I don't know, I have this primer because I feel like it was so popular. It's dirty. When I first, oh my gosh. I'm just supposed to take the cap off. I thought it was so cool because you just kind of like roll it on your skin. But I actually don't really like that application because I feel like it's not that even. And nothing is even coming out now. Oh, there we go. We're just gonna do it just for fun. We gotta start learning somehow, so I need to like, you know, 
Prime. Oh, it's burning so weird, y'all. My lips is on fire. Like up here, like should that be that much primer right there? I don't know. Okay, right, come on. I want to be done at least 10 minutes before we need to walk out the house. And that means I have 12 minutes. And it's not drying fast enough. I shouldn't have did that. The reason why I don't like a lot of heavy makeup on my face is because of that whole, um, not because of the trend, but the trend made me realize why I don't like heavier makeup. I think it's like if you have a high profile or low, pro low profile face or something, and I have a bigger face and smaller features besides my lips. And then if you have like a smaller face and bigger features, then you look better in like heavier makeup. And my facial type looks better in like something more natural because i feel like i always look like a drag queen when i have a lot of makeup on i don't i like it okay this is blush i don't know how i feel about foundation brushes did i just not put enough on oh i didn't even tell y'all what i was using sorry this is just the yummy skin serum skin tint i have it in the shade six. Ooh. All over my eyebrows see that's my problem like you really need to be patient and take your time and one thing i'm gonna do is rush every single time oh and i should have done my edges <laughs> i'm fucking up already it's my breath tutorial i'll say it and i say it again for anybody who's new here i feel so low energy for some reason right now though i don't know i feel like it's because i've been being productive all day and i just want to sit down but i'm also excited to go i really want to warm my face up but again i don't have a bronzer and i'm like girl today is not the day to start trying stuff let's just put some blush on and call it a day that was too much here i go i don't understand how you use a blush brush like do you just do that or do you do circular motion For a girl who already gets very red and blush, I probably don't need blush, but it's okay. I want to try faux freckles. Like, that's my next thing. I was thinking about getting them hinted on, but then I went on TikTok and I saw the girls and they had a little, um, a little product you can buy. Highlighter on top of the blush. Rare Beauty. I'm not good at multitasking. And I feel stressed out now. Because my lips look purple. Why do they look purple? I just, I can't win. I love a little highlighter on the nose. I don't know why, I just think that's so cute. It's giving glossy. I need to learn how to do eyeshadow too, so then I can like, you know. Do my, my countertops are so messy. I want a vanity or like a beauty space where I can like actually sit down and get ready. Ooh, I forgot to do concealer under my eyes. See, my problem is I need to stop trying to talk while I'm getting ready and I need like a step-by-step -step tutorial. My under eyes are not like super naturally dark, but that kind of look a little heavy. I need something brighter though. This concealer is not light enough. How do y'all do y'all brows after like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, the one brow trick I have learned is go the opposite direction and then go this way. This is why I need to do my brows. Cause they look a hot mess. I really should have just did like a maintenance week this week, but I thought like, I was gonna be fine because I have a home at home brow lamination kit so I was like oh I'll just laminate my brows at home and then my lashes I didn't think they were gonna be this dusty musty crusty like falling out already but I've just learned about myself I'm done I keep on trying to force lashes and it's just like not giving I just I need to grow my own natural lashes out and then like call it a day I think I look crazy do I look crazy or is it the lighting I can't tell but it's really messing with me. I'm about to put some setting powder on. This has been my like little go-to makeup and I've been liking it just fine. I think it's because my lips look so pink. I don't like that. And 
getting why am I getting reactions out of my face? Ah! I'm screaming. What is going on? Am I allergic to something? Have mercy. Okay. This is the look. <laughs> this is it. We're ready. I'm just gonna put my pants on and then go. Oh, let me spray myself a little bit more. Perfume. I'm gonna put a little oil in my hair. Or should I just leave it a little frizzy? I kind of like this. That's it. That's all. Thanks for coming to my Get Ready With Me. I'm sorry. I feel like super low energy now. I don't know why, but... Dude, I can't tell because I can't tell what I look like. Do I look bad or does it look okay? You know what I'm saying? You don't ever want to leave out the house and not be feeling confident. Like, I know I smell good, but do I look good? That is the question of the day. I'm going to go look in the other mirror. It's hard, especially when it's nighttime. The lighting is so bad in here. And then it's like, you don't want to go outside looking crazy. And like, why? Like, my face is like hiding up everywhere. Like, getting red on my nose. And like, right there. Like, that's so weird. Anyways, my girl. Edges? Where are you gonna do your edges? We don't know. See? Ugh. And then my freaking, I don't know why my face is doing that. I'm so sad. Hopefully when I go outside in this cold weather, it will stop acting like that. I'm gonna put my glasses on too, I think. Okay, officially, bye.